boys and girls, welcome back. I'm so excited to be back here with you today. I have been so blessed to get the messages that your moms and dads have been sending me. And my favorite part of today is gonna to be what we're gonna do next. I have jokes for you. Some of you wrote in and sent me some jokes. I'm so excited. Here's our first one. It's from Gavin. He asks, what type of bow can't be tied? What type of bow can't be tied? Do you know what type of bow can't be tied? Okay, I'll tell you. It's a rainbow! That was a really funny joke, Gavin. Really funny joke. So Chloe, Kaya, and Ellie wrote in and they asked, what did the big flower say to the little flower? Do you know? It said, what's up, bud? <laughs> those were my favorite. Thank you, thank you for sending those in. I'm so excited to share those with you. And I found out what some more of our friends have been doing during our break. Hudson, Lincoln, and Silas have been searching for bugs in their backyard. Ooh, I bet they found some really cool ones. And I've got a special treat for you. Four of our friends actually sent in a video. We're gonna play those videos for you right now. Hi, Ella. Hey. Can you tell me a story of something you've done while not being at school and being home? And then we moved this garden, and then after that we got to like go like on the block, have a way you can like go the fastest one and block, and then yeah, and we got to go to high Street. It's a really restaurant, and it's really good food. And it has so much beauty. And yeah, that's all. Um, Ella, I really like the story about when you made the cards. Oh yeah, I made like a card for like my neighbors on my skin and making like cards for them to like bless people. But I didn't knock on them door because people are really sensitive about the coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. So you just left it on their front porch? Yeah. Yeah. What did you leave with the card? Oh, I, um, like, uh, um, we do like a picture. Mm-hmm. And did you pick anything to put with the card, the card? What? Did you pick anything from our garden? Oh, yeah, I picked, like, some like flowers and yeah yeah and what did one of our neighbors do to say thank you um oh he gave me some cookies yeah that was cool huh yeah all right is that it baby girl yeah thank you for sharing mm -hmm. hey maggie can you tell me a story of something you've done while being at home and not at school yeah, so um, as normal, we have to do this thing called distant learning because we can't have school, but um, it's kind of hard, but we get through it. And then um, that doesn't really even take half of the day, but then uh, it's actually kind of great because um, you, we get a lot more free time because normally it would be, okay, uh, go to like breakfast, go to school, come back, do homework, shower, like eat dinner, go to the, it's, it, cause it gives us a lot more free time. Just like, for example, yesterday, as we did all of our work, after that, we, uh, I got a big brownies because like, who doesn't like brownies? And, um, and we did, um, like, I believe it's called the couple challenge, but we took it into the Patterson family, our own hands, and um, we went ahead and just called it the partner challenge, and we all just did it. It was a lot of fun, but also kind of challenging. And, um, but then after that, um, we, since I made brownies, we are, 
uh, more of a, so what we do is we have to like run around the block or do some type of workout for dessert and um, like, or gardening. Cause like my mom has like a place we're trying to make it to a landscape or like like a fire pit or something, but it's a lot, a lot of process, but we've been doing a lot. So we also call that our science because like you can't really do anything for science on distance <laughs> learning. But then, uh, so we did family relays for brownies, but uh, if you don't know what a family relay is, it's just one person goes around the block and then come back. And then when they come back, the next person has to go. It's, it's a lot of fun. And, um, and so we did that for brownies, but if you did not know, my sister Maya, she's allergic to chocolate. So she couldn't have any brownies, but she still had to run. And she ran so that we could get this really, really good sushi place. It's called Haya Sushi. It's just around the block and we ordered the food from it. It was amazing. And um, honestly, it's probably my favorite restaurant, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, then we had like brownie, uh, brownies for dessert, like, cause we ran for it. And then, oh, we've been watching this like series called The Letter to the King. It's um, pretty interesting, um, but it's, it's a bit intense because a lot <laughs> of people die in it. And, um, but yeah, it's kind of enjoyable. But they might like the chosen better, huh? Yeah, the chosen's a lot better. They also another series called The Chosen. It's actually really, really good. I because we already watched all the series. Sadly, I want another series to come in because it's um, a fun way to learn about the Bible, and uh, it has just the amount of humor that makes it serious but also enjoyable. And um, but you do need an app for it, but it's totally worth it. And is that it, baby? Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. Hi, Mariah. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Can you tell me a story about something you've done at home while not being able to go to school? So, okay, here's the story. So, uh, it was science. Science. Um, and I was helping mom do the garden, which like I do that, we either help mom to garden or we cook. And so I had the shovel in my hand and like we were like scooping things and then I broke the shovel. <laughs> yeah, you did, yeah. huh? Okay, well, um, thanks for sharing. Uh -huh. Love you. Love you too. Hey, Michaela. Hi. Can you tell me a story of something you've done during this quarantine? Um, uh, I did like the uh, partner challenge thing. Um, I uh, did homework. I tried to do homework. Um, oh, we got video games and I beat my dad 10 to 0 on my first try. Oh, it was so good to hear from our Patterson friends, huh? Oh, I'm so excited to hear from you guys. Please keep sending them in. I miss seeing your cute little faces every Sunday. And I love hearing your voices and I love hearing about everything you guys are doing. So please, please keep sending them in. Now I wanted to continue with our letters to God. This one says, Dear God, this is sounding better all the time. God has given you the talent to do a few special things very well. Maybe it's making music on your keyboard, or thinking up clever stories, or kicking a ball over everyone's head. None of those things make you better than anybody else because other people have their own list of abilities, but your talents are a gift from God and using them well is your gift back to him. The verse we can read more about that is, whatever your hands find to do, do with all your might. That's Ecclesiastes 9.10. Let's read another one. Dear God, I'm tired of sitting on the side. You're going to feel left out sometimes. Everyone does. You'll get mad when something doesn't go your way. You'll feel like quitting when something gets too tough. The job of being you can be hard when you're all alone. But you're not really ever alone. 
because God is always with you. And the times you feel the worst are the times you can know God the best. The Lord himself will never leave you. That's Deuteronomy 31, 8. Boys and girls, those stories and those letters from our friends, they're actually really important in a time like this. With us being home and surrounded by our friends and family, sometimes we see our siblings do something a little bit better than we can do, and maybe it hurts our feelings a little bit. Or maybe you're left out and you feel kind of alone, but you're never alone. Like the scripture said, God never leaves you. And maybe you aren't as good at drawing as your brother or sister is, but you know what? You might build a better Lego castle than they do, or you might be better at playing sports than they are. This is the perfect time to learn a new thing. Maybe help your brother or sister learn how to build Legos really well, and maybe they'll take time to show you how to draw a little bit better. This is such the perfect time for us to just be open to learn new things about ourselves and about others. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, I just thank you for this time we get to spend with you every week, God. I just thank you for the ability to reach out to my friends that I miss seeing on Sundays. And God, I just thank you that no matter what day of the week it is, no matter what hour of the day it is, God, you're with us always. And God, I just pray that in those moments where our little hearts might be feeling a little bit lonely, or we might just be feeling a little discouraged because our gifts are different than someone else's, God, I pray that in those moments you come to us and you remind us who we are in you. And God, I pray that during this time, you even show us what a new gift is that you've given us that we may not even be aware of, God. We just thank you and praise you for everything you've given us, God. We love you. In Jesus' name. Well, boys and girls, that's it for today. But guess what? We've got a really special week coming up because next week we're going to prep for Easter. Oh, I'm so excited. See you then. Bye.